Today we're talking about ipe, otherwise known as Brazilian walnut or ironwood. And it gets that name for a reason. It is as tough as steel. It is a very hard wood to work with. So it requires a lot of pre-drilling if you're drilling in screws and uh, it, it'll dull your tools. However, it lasts a really long time. So if you leave it untreated, uh, you'll probably be looking at 40, 50 years. And if you take care of it, it could last you 75. So it's, it's gonna last a really long time. It has natural oils built into it and tannins. So uh, it's a very dense hardwood. It does not retain heat. I do get asked oftentimes from people who come into the office, uh, what do you have that is a deck board that's cooler on the feet? Epe is actually a really good choice if you're looking for a cooler surface on your deck because the sun's hitting it, it's not absorbing any of that heat. It's not going to splinter like uh, pressure treated woods or some of the soft woods that you can use on decks because of all those oils and its density. So it's not going to get that raised grain lift However, uh, when you're cutting it and so forth, the ends of the boards will tend to get um, little splinters, so watch your fingers and uh, keep a you know, pair of tweezers handy because that will happen. Now, things you should know about uh, Ipe, it's something where every board looks a little different as you can see in this picture. Uh, this is both, both Ipe, one's light, one's a little bit darker, so every board is going to look a little different. If that bothers you, then don't buy it. You know, go for the composites where every board looks alike. But if you want that natural look and staggering the board so it looks like a nice wood floor, then the Nipe is a really good choice. Now, they'll come with the grooves on the edges for what they call Ipe clips, or you can also get it with the, with the square edge so that you can do the screws through the face they also make a tool for boring out a wood plug, an ePay plug, so you can plug those screws as well. As far as conditioning or treating, make sure the ends of the boards are sealed. That prevents any checking at the ends because it is such a hard wood. Applying a oil finish really brings out the tones of the wood. It really accents the grain. I highly recommend uh, sanding the boards, getting them nice and clean, because when you finish it up, it really is going to look like a, a piece of furniture when you're all done. I'm just gonna put some Ipe oil on this piece right here with just a foam brush, uh, just to show you kind of how that finish really looks. Now, uh, all you gotta do is put the, the oil on and rub off the excess. Ipe uh, will show stains. Uh, you know, this is not going to be ketchup and wine proof. So um, the nice thing though is that if you do get a stain on it, look how nice that looks. Isn't that beautiful? Um, so if you do get wine or ketchup or something on your ePay deck, you can sand it and just put oil on it. It's gone. Same thing with scratches. So it's really hard to scratch this stuff because it's so hard. Uh, but if somebody does, again, you can just sand it and put a new coat of finish on it. And oiling is much easier than using polyurethanes and lacquers and all that kind of stuff where uh, maybe on some other wood decks you'd have to use those products. Uh, this one is, is just oil and go. Just oil and go. Or don't oil and let it turn silver in the sun, okay? You can always call us if you have any questions or uh, just go online, warehouse71diy.com. But uh, thank you very much for your time. Consider ePay.